Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, and can we all just stop and take a deep breath together? Like the last 24 hours has been absolutely crazy. From me sharing what info I had on Erica to, oh lordy, it's Jordy doing a live stream with over 6,000 people in it when Erica and her wife called in and did a live interview. And now Apathetic Facts comes out with a video of all kinds of stuff that Erica sent them to tell them her side of the story. Like, it's been a lot. Before we get into anything, I just want to personally say that I want to retract what I said in my video yesterday about Amberlynn not knowing that Erica was married. Erica herself has come out and said that that is untrue. And not only that, I went back and looked at the messages that I had gotten from the person who gave me the info on Erica, and they too had said Amberlynn knew about this. I don't know how I missed that, but I just want to say I'm really sorry that I did not get that correct. I totally retract what I said. Amberlynn did know that Erica was married, so I just want to apologize for spreading any misinformation that's totally on me. That's my bad. I totally misread what the person said in their messages. I will say, though, everything else that I said in my video about Erica did prove to be right, so... The person who was giving me information, like shout out to them because they were telling the truth. And I also want to apologize for calling out the people who were calling Amberlynn a homewrecker. Uh, I mean, you can use that word if you want because it does seem like possibly it fits in my opinion. So apologies for that. But anyway, you guys, we have a video to watch. We are going to watch the video that Apathetic Facts put out today with the voice notes from Erica telling her side of the story. And from what I've heard, there is a recorded phone call with Amber Lynn that is in this video. And I cannot wait to watch this with you guys. So ready? Let's go. So like I said, this is all going to be information that Erica herself is putting out there. She and her wife do not want to remain anonymous. They don't want to be hidden or blurred. They want their story put out there. And the pictures that you're about to see are pictures that they themselves sent to Apathetic Facts. And they are of Erica and her wife, Brittany. Okay, hello, Apathetic Facts. This is um, Erica. I do want to say how this all started was... Uh, me and Brittany were sitting in bed and we saw one of Amber Lynn's um, posts talking about masculine women. And um, Brittany looked at me and I looked at her and I was like, what if I messaged her? Right. So our first message was, I was like, I think I said like masculine women question mark or something like that. And she messaged me back and we were messaging for a while um, back and forth, just like talking Okay, so already we're off to a shady start. Erica is admitting that she and her wife together decided to troll Amberlynn, send her a message, see what would happen. I think this is a good lesson for everyone. <laughs> Nothing good could come out of messaging Amberlynn. And then, um, of course, it started, it started becoming a problem um, between Brittany and I because I was like, apparently, I guess her her true colors were showing whatever um she did ask if i was with anyone and so i had talked to Brittany, and i was like what should i tell her and Brittany was like tell her that like we're still technically married but that you know um we aren't like technically together but we're like by law still married Okay, so this is going to be where I defend Amberlynn a little bit, unless Erica goes on to say that she came clean to Amberlynn and said, like, I told her we were not only married by law, but also, like, actually still together. Then can we still call Amberlynn a homewrecker? <laughs> like, if you tell somebody, like, you're not together with someone, you're just married by law, that does kind of seem like you are trying to pass it off like you're single now. I still don't agree with going after that person, I would be like, hey, listen, hit me back up when you are by law single. But if Amber Lynn was being told that Erica was separated or going to be getting a divorce from her wife, then I can't say Amber Lynn was trying to break them up. Do you guys get what I'm saying? If she was told they're already broken up, then can she really be held responsible for trying to break them up? I don't know. Let's keep watching. Maybe Erica will, will reveal more to us. 
So I gave her that story and um, rode with it for a while. And of course I do deserve this backlash that I'm getting because I trolled her for a while and uh, just kind of like get like a kick out of it, you know, whatever, it's Amberlynn Reed. Um, I wasn't a big fan of her for a very long time. And uh, she does know, I openly told her, I openly told her, Amberlynn, that, you know, I used to watch her and I disliked her extremely at one point. And of course she wasn't too fond of that. So, um, Okay, Erica, it kind of sounds like you are implying that Amberlynn should have known she was being trolled because you were like, I told her, I told her I used to be a hater. Okay, I don't know what that has to do with anything. Like, she still had no reason to think you were trolling her. Although, in my opinion, she should be very suspicious of that. But that's not her fault if she thought that you were being genuine. The conversation continued and then it got, you know, kind of out of hand and... So, also, um, I'd like to point out that while I was talking to Amberlynn, um, she was talking to a girl named Danielle that was also married. I don't know, like, the full details behind that whole situation. I just know that I was kind of, like, the back burner person of this whole triangle that she had going on. Like, she was talking to another girl named Abby, and then she was telling me about her friend named Alexis, and then she was telling me about Danielle and how she was crazy over her and blah, blah, blah. Okay, Erica, this feels like deflection. I don't know why we are talking about, well, there was this other married woman she was talking to and she was talking to this other girl and da, 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 da. I feel like you were trying to say, well, this, you know, yeah, I did bad, but she did bad too. Like, no, girl. Amberlynn, if she was, if she's single, she's allowed to talk to people. I don't know. And, and for you to say, I don't really know about the whole person being married situation. Okay, then don't speak on it. And, um... <laughs> Then it just, we kind of just like started talking more and more and more. And then, you know, my wife was like, hey, you know, I don't want you talking to her anymore. So I, there was a time where we didn't talk, but shortly after did start, did start talking again. I'm not, I, I'm, I, I'm not a good person for like doing this and I know that I'm not and Okay, for that, I will give her credit for acknowledging that she is not a good person for doing this. Her wife asked her to stop, and she kept it going. You know, whenever me and Amberlynn supposedly, like, broke... Okay, 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 okay. I'm backtrack. I'm going too far ahead. I'm going too hard ahead. Just give me a second. So, we kept talking. Um, she started becoming really possessive. She started, you know, talking about Brittany, how I always choose her first and that I won't be her girlfriend and I wouldn't choose her. And okay, that definitely tracks with Amberlynn's past relationships. So I believe it. So on, I think it was like Valentine's Day or whatever, she was giving me a hard time about it and it more so felt forced and it, that was through texts. So if she tries to show those texts, You'll see that that was a forced agreement for me and her to be in a relationship. Okay, just right there, just stop. Okay, this was not a forced relationship. That is so silly to say. I appreciate that you are taking accountability for a lot of your actions, but forced relationship, like, girl, stop. And so I was like, so what would this relationship be? And she was like, just more loyal, more communication, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, I can deal with that. She was like, okay, I can deal with that. Tell me again how this was a forced relationship. You know, whatever. And that was where it came about. We continued talking and things got more and more in depth with each other. And I was actually starting to second guess, like her as a person, um, you know, maybe the haters are wrong, you know, maybe she isn't a bad person because the side that I saw of her wasn't the person that I saw on YouTube. Like the side she gave of me was different. So I don't know if that's like manipulation or if that's masking. I don't know. I'm not very good with psychology. Um, even though I should be well-rounded in it, I'm not. And 
Okay, while I totally believe that it is possible Amber Lynn was showing a different side of herself to Erica, I also feel like this is more deflection, you know, kind of like Erica feeling like, oh shit, I got in a relationship with Amber Lynn. People are going to judge me for this. So I'm going to say, oh no, no, no. She was a different person. She, she was different than she was on the internet. But like I said, also possible Amber Lynn was acting like a different person than she portrays on her channel. And things got out of hand. We said things we shouldn't have said to each other. Um, I never said anything bad about my wife to her. That's one thing that really made her upset was like, um, if anything, like, you know, my wife had switched jobs and she tried to like, Amber Lynn tried to say, oh, you know, your wife's at home um, more because they're, you know, she took some time off and Amber Lynn was upset because my wife was home more and I couldn't talk to her much. And she said, oh, well, she quit her job because she's being a baby. And I was like, no. Um. That to me sounds like maybe maybe Amber Lynn was like testing you in a way almost or trying to see like, will you say something bad about your wife? Because that would make her feel better, you know, and maybe she was like trying to bond with you over that. Maybe thinking like, well, you know, people who break up with their spouses are usually bitter. So that's something we can talk about together. So that doesn't really surprise me. And also like you told her that you guys were split up so to make it sound like oh can you believe what she said about my wife like she thought you guys weren't together I mean not defending Amber Lynn here but that didn't just come out of nowhere um, she quit because you know like I it, it was two different conversations by basically we were saying like she's taking a you know a bigger pay raise you know and a better opportunity it's not because she's being a baby um you know that's not who she is um, and it would, it would upset her that I always like talked about, like if my wife came into conversation, I was talking about her in a more positive light. And my wife is not some crazy person that Amberlynn is saying she is. I mean, I guess this is why you don't cheat on your wife because you're going to feel some type of loyalty to both sides. <laughs> like sounds to me like that's what went on here. Um, anyways, I'm, I'm getting off subject here. I'm, my apologies. Um, so we would, we would, we would talk. We FaceTimed anytime I looked off, like I was looking at my phone. She would always question me. Um, she was like wanting me to send screenshots of like my inbox and my text messages and stuff and like who I'm talking to and. Okay, Amber, that is crazy. Please stop doing that. That is not a sign of a healthy relationship. If you feel like you need to do that, it's time to let that person go. And things of that nature, like she was kind of becoming possessive and she was questioning me all the time. So, you know, she was like, why don't you leave the house, go to the store or something so you can call me? And I'm like, no, like, my wife has 360 so me and my wife have 360 and we know where each other are at any given time so you know it's not like i'm running around doing crazy stuff so okay that should have been red flag number one for you amber lynn if someone tells you that they are broken up with their wife but yet their wife is still able to track them on an app and that person is okay with it that should have sent alarm bell alarm bells through your head that maybe they are not broken up like they say they are <laughs> She made the comment saying, I need you to put me on Life360. So I I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. A couple weeks go by and she's still pestering me about it, still pestering me about it. And I, I agreed to it and like an idiot. Do you see why I said this was not a forced relationship like Erica is trying to claim? You made the conscious decision to put Amberlynn Reed on your Life 360. That was on you. You could have said no. But also, Amber, do you really sound sane you sound right now in this story? Like, you never even met this person in real life, but yet you want to be able to track their every movement, girl? And she was Googling every address I would go to, finding out. Yeah, sorry. I am nervous, very nervous. Um, because I'm I'm the piece of crap in this situation. Like my my wife um should not be getting any of this backlash. If anybody should get backlash, it should be me. Wholeheartedly agree with you there, ma'am. I, I just don't want like yeah, I'm freaking freaked out by the Kiwi farm people and Reddit and all these haters. Like, hey, I I was one of them and I did something.
and stupid and I misjudged her and I was, you know, I don't, I won't want to, I don't want to say she casted a spell on me, but she like, you know, it was almost like manipulation at its finest. And I will say that that woman is a professional. There was times where I was like questioning my reality, like what the fuck is going on because of the things that I, we would talk about. Oh, get the whole fuck out of here, girl. Do I believe Amberlynn Reed probably manipulated you in a lot of ways? Absolutely. But for you to sit up here and try to pretend like you did not have a large part in all of this, you absolutely did. You are in your 30s and you're going to say someone, it's almost like someone cast a spell on you. Stop it. Just stop it right now. Yeah, that, that was the gist of our relationship. We FaceTimed, we talked, we sent pictures, whatever. She knew where I was. She asked where I was going. She was always questioning me. She would ask me, when was the last time I kissed my wife? I need to tell her every time I kiss my wife. I need to tell her every time I have sex with my wife. Okay, that is interesting. So I wonder what all of this was about because either Amber Lynn knew that they were still together and they were sleeping together and kissing each other or did Erica try to spin it in a way to be like, no, 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 we're still apart, but we just, you know, hooked up or whatever. That is very interesting to me. I would love to hear more information about that. Um, because she eventually found out that me and my wife were not like technically married that we were married and we did have an active relationship and that we have been together for a long time ah okay there it is so amber lynn did know erica and her wife were still together having an active sex life and she still pursued the relationship amber lynn here's where you need to take accountability that was not okay to do. You should have said you're not separated or leaving your wife. Y'all are still together. I'm going to exit the relationship. And that we were, you know, affectionate, you know, everything like that. And she, she was upset about it, of course, but, you know, she forgave me. And, you know, I was upset for like hurting her feelings, of course, because... You know, she she cried about it. She was hurt by it. And, you know, people crying upsets me. And so I was like, F you know, I'm a big piece of shit. And I'm still a big piece of shit for all of this. And Okay, but I hope Amberlynn crying isn't what made you feel bad. I hope the fact that you completely lied to her and to your wife and hurt both of them. I hope that is what made you feel bad. If I could take it all back, I would. Okay, um... I don't know what type of backlash I'm going to get for giving you all this information. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, this gets the people off of my wife's back. If anything, like, you know, cuss me out, call me a piece of shit, blare my picture on Reddit, anywhere you want to do. But I don't want my wife getting backlash for this. Me and her moved past this, actually. You and your wife moved past this. Okay, I'm happy for you. But I wonder how much of the full story your wife really knew. June 9th, I'm sitting, you know, I, th this is the time frame where I'm kind of like trying to push Amberlynn away, like, you know, not really talking to her much, trying to, I was trying to like let her down easy and like not being like, okay, we need to end things because I tried to multiple times and she would like literally FaceTime me and show her whole face crying to her makeup. She would send me crazy videos of her and songs and and like trying to get my attention whatever saying i made her triggered I, she has abandonment issues and you know she was begging 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 for me not to end things and okay i believe what she's saying there it's a very detailed description so that to me sounds like it actually did happen and i just amberlynn that's so many manipulative girl if someone tells you they don't want to be with you anymore i get that you're hurt probably angry but girl you just gotta let them go it's not a good idea to try to guilt somebody into being back with you and she claims that I was like cheating on her, but she was wanting me to give her information um, about my sex life with my wife, you know. And of course, I didn't tell her every single time. Like, I don't, I didn't feel like that was necessary. And just like I said to Erica, this is why you don't cheat on someone. Amberlynn, this is why you don't stay involved with someone who is still married. At all. Um, but when she would ask, I'd tell her, you know, yeah. Um, so th it was, 
This whole thing is f***ed, basically. It's f***ed, and it should have never happened. Um, so, continuing, I'm trying to push her away. She's messaging me every day, and blah, 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 blah. And, like, I tried to make things up to, like, get her to kind of, like, back off, whatever. Girl, you knew what type of person Amberlynn Reed was. You should know that you can't just, like, try to get her to back off of you. You have to, if you want to break up with Amberlynn Reed, you have to cut it off, be firm and direct, and stick to it. That is the only way it's gonna work. She messaged me on the day my uncle died, and my uncle, like, died. And I was, I had a mental breakdown in the in the Taco Bell parking lot, you know, getting food, I'm having a mental breakdown, and I told her, like, hey, I just found out my uncle died, like, I need some time, I needed time, and I told her, like, hey, this is a whole ordeal for me, like, I'm trying to figure things out with the family, figure things out with this, that, and the third, and then she's, she's wondering, she's more concerned about if, if I miss us, like, me and her, she's like, do you miss us, do you miss me, you know, um, are we, we, are we still together? And I'm like, I don't think that, you know, we should do this anymore. Basically, like I did give her the whole spill, like, oh yeah, you know, this isn't right. You know, you don't deserve this and you know, no one else deserves this. Oof, Amberlynn, not a good look if she just lost her uncle. But also, Erica, kind of shitty for you to break up with her by saying, you don't deserve this, you don't deserve to have me. Like, everybody knows that is such a manipulative way because someone like Amberlynn is going to totally fall for that and be like, oh my god, you know, it's us against the world. And you may have thought that would get her off your back, but that was the complete opposite way of getting her off your back. Um, she said, okay, friends, it is. So I don't know who broke up with who. Um, I basically told her like, I couldn't like do this anymore. And so she's saying that she broke up with me. That's fine. She can say whatever she wants, but I wanted to get my story out to you at least. Um, and like I said, in my video, Erica was the one to break things off with Amberlynn. That is what I was told. And now Erica's confirming it. Yeah, I watch your stuff, I, you know, whenever I, I used to watch your stuff a lot. Um, I tried to stay off of YouTube since this whole, like, <sighs> crap has been going on. Uh, you mean this whole crap that you started? Uh, after that, she would not stop messaging me. Um, like, from June 9th up until, what was it, June 23rd? 16th. Oh, no, June 16th, she would not. I think it was sometime between the 16th and the 23rd. Oh, no, no, no. We broke, June 9th, my uncle died. We broke up on the 16th. So I was trying to ignore her and, you know, kind of like let it die out, you know, let someone else find her, let it, let, let someone else find her, let someone else get her attention. See, this is so, you say that Amberlynn, Erica says that Amberlynn was manipulative toward her, but this is just as manipulative. Everything Erica says is, well, I basically told her this and I basically told her that. What did you actually say to her? You know, the whole saying, the whole starting the relationship off with lies, leading Amberlynn on, and then saying, oh, you deserve better than this. And now she's saying, why well, just kind of like, Tried to let it fizzle out, let someone else find her. Like, it's coming across to me like you didn't want this to end. You kind of enjoyed having Amberlynn on the back burner, in my opinion. And now you're just saying things to make your wife think you tried to end it. That's the impression that I'm getting. Sorry, June 15th, we were talking and, you know, sh that's whenever things ended. June 9th was when my uncle died. So June 15th, whatever, we broke up. So... She keeps messaging me every day for like the next week. I mean, did you or did you not break up with her though? Because you said I basically broke up with her. And then you said I kind of just didn't really respond to her to let things fizzle out. So which is it? And it also sounds like in the past when you tried to break it off with her, she would call you. You guys would make up and you would take her back. So it's no wonder she kept trying to get a hold of you. She thought that you were going to take her back again. And me and Brittany are in the bedroom, you know, trying to watch a movie. And, like, I told her I'm, I'm watching a movie. And this is kind of, like, where, you know, the truth came out. And Brittany, like, was like, who are you talking to? And I told her. I said, you know, Amberlynn won't leave me alone, basically. All these basically's. Are you guys noticing this? She just keeps saying, I told her basically. What exactly did you tell her? 
But also, did you not tell her why Amberlynn won't leave you alone? I bet you left that part out. Like, will not leave me alone. I was trying to give her every excuse I could to not talk to her anymore. And it wasn't, she wasn't budging. There we go. Again, with the vagueness and the manipulation, instead of just cutting it off, saying, I don't want to be with you. Stop calling me. She was giving her excuses as to why she couldn't talk. And again, that is why I say I kind of feel like she enjoyed having Amberlynn on the back burner. She was like trying to, I don't know when this other person came in the picture that is currently whatever she's with. I don't care. Um, I just know that there is nothing exciting about me and there's nothing exciting about my wife as far as YouTube is, con is concerned. So please, like, yes, I'm the biggest cheating piece of shit spouse on YouTube right now. You can go ahead and say that, but please, like, leave my wife out of this. Like, you know, she did know partially it was supposed to be a troll. It was supposed to be a joke. It was supposed to be this, that, and the third, but I, I fell for the stupid, I was stupid, and I fell for the bullshit. Um, you fell for what bullshit, Erica? You were the one peddling the bullshit. You were the one telling the lies, trolling Amberlynn. So what bullshit did you fall for? Please stop in one breath claiming that you're taking accountability for things and that you are in the wrong and in the next breath being like, but here's why it's also not my fault. As Amber likes to say, that's very Amberlynn coded of you. I regret it majorly. Oh, like as far as like flirting, like basically like um, saying flirtatious stuff to each other, t things like that. Like basically like, like cheating, like having a emotional cheating relationship yeah it also wasn't just flirting ma'am there were also nude pictures and sexual type videos exchanged i don't know if you sent any to amberlynn but you got some from her so it was more than just flirting okay so i'm gonna backtrack a little bit as far as like how august 1st came about um like whenever the whole like agreement of the relationship happened yeah, here's another thing Amberlynn likes to do. She likes to use distancing language. You guys started a relationship, both of you. So quit calling it forced and saying it was an agreement. No, you were in a relationship equally, mutually, both of you. Um, she's like, well, we need to meet, you know? And I was like, well, when? And she's like, pick a date. And I didn't pick the date. She ended up picking the date. Um, it was August 1st, of course. And... <clears throat> She was wanting me to move in and things like that. I don't believe that. I do not believe that. Even though we're talking about Amberlynn here, you want me to think that she was okay with the first time meeting you, moving in that day, signing a lease and moving in together? I don't believe that. And so that's how August 1st came about was, you know, she thought that I was going to leave, and I did, like I did later on, and basically say, yeah, I'll be there August 1st, sure, I'll be there August 1st, you know, because she asked every single day, like it was, it was, if it wasn't every single day, it was every week, multiple times a week. But you still agreed to it. Did you guys see? She just did it again. She said, well, yeah, I agree to it. So she's taking responsibility. But then she puts the blame on Amber Lynn. But she just kept asking me over and over and over again. Okay, well, why couldn't you just say no over and over again? And things got out of hand. Um, you know, if I didn't talk to her for her, she was like clocking me too. Like if I didn't message her back, she would say, where'd you go? What have you been doing the last six minutes? And I'm like, six minutes. So I started being stern with her. I was like, you're not going to time me. Like, this this is not what we're doing. Like, we had fights. We had arguments and things like that. And, you know, we had arguments about my wife. Um, we had arguments about, you know, my friends. And apparently, um, I made her stop talking to her friends. No. She was always telling me about the things that her friends were saying to her. So Alexis, oh, huh, that's a whole other story. Abby? That's a whole nother story. God, this whole relationship reminds me of high school. No, scratch that. Middle school. Abby is like literally 22 years old and was mean to Amberlynn and said mean things to her. Oh, and also, um, apathetics facts, the friends that visited her was not Alexis. It was not Tommy, whoever. It was Eric and Ricky. 
Eric and Ricky are the two friends that was at her apartment because, you know, I just, I knew. Okay, and this whole mess, it does kind of warm my heart to hear that Eric and Ricky are still together. Please come back to YouTube if you ever watch this. We miss you guys. Um, so back on track, Abby was one of the girls she was talking to, and then they became good friends. And she was always telling me the disrespectful shit that Abby would say to her. And I'm like, why are you friends with this person? You know, I wouldn't even give them the time of day. And then Alexis, uh, she said a bunch of, she said a bunch of things about Alexis, like personal things about Alexis. Erica, we don't know who these people are. And by you bringing them up, I feel like it's more deflection so that you can be like, oh, Amber Lynn is, I'm not the only bad person. Amber Lynn is too. Like, girl, we already know. Um, I don't, you know, I don't want to share it, but like homegirl thinks Alexis is her best friend in the world. Alexis thinks Amber Lynn is her bestest friend in the world. Well, guess what? Like Amber Lynn talks about Alexis to me saying she gives me the ick and the things she says to me, blah, 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 blah. Okay, Erica, now you're just being messy, which go ahead and continue because we love a messy girl. But I fail to see how any of this is relevant to the topic at hand. So I didn't make her stop talking to anybody. Amber made that decision on her own. And she even said on her, you know, she even told me like, she becomes like obsession, obsessed with people that she's with and she tends to cut out her friends. I didn't make her stop talking to anybody. And that I do believe not only do we have previous stories about Amberlynn being possessive, but also if she expected Erica to cut everybody off and just talk to her, then she probably thought that she should do the same and cut everyone off and just talk to Erica. I feel like somewhere in her mind, that equates to a healthy relationship. That's just what you do when you're with someone. You make them the center of your universe. So this 18 minute phone call that you're going to be getting, it's 18 minutes and 32 seconds long of a discussion between Amber Lynn and my wife on speakerphone. She was trying to tell my wife that, er, that I'm crazy and that, you know, she was wearing rose tinted glasses, which, you know, that was a whole ordeal. She, you know, both of us were, it was a f***ed up situation and it was an emotional cheating relationship and it should have never f***ing happened. I went with it in... It was stupid and I regret it and I wish I never did it. And of course, I'm not perfect, but I'm not going to sit here and be trolled about something that isn't true. Like I'm telling my story and I'm being honest now so that things don't get turned around more than what they already are. I get what you're saying, Erica, and I want to give you credit. Like I said, you keep talking about how regretful you are about the cheating, how you should have never done it. You wish you could go back in time and not do it. And I do respect that about you. That is one thing that Amber Lynn has a problem with. And Amber Lynn is a liar. Um, I will confirm that. Oh, sweetie, we did not need you to confirm that. But thank you anyway. Um, she's lied. I don't know how long this Tommy person was in her life. I don't really care, honestly. Um, but I wanted to get my side out to you. Um, that was the gist of it. You know, it was an emotional relationship that should have never happened. She tried to get me to move in. I acted like it was going to happen instead of me. I was being a and basically giving her false hope. And I should have womaned up and been like, no, like it's not going to happen. I'm staying with my fucking wife. Like, why would I give up what I have here and come living in a, a one bedroom apartment with you whenever all I hear in the background is sirens and people hollering in the streets? Like, that's not where my peace is. Again, I give you props for owning up to it. You did lead her on. You made her think you were going to not only go see her, but move in with her in August. You can say all you want. She tried to get you to do that, but you agreed to it. That's on you. And I appreciate that you are admitting that. And it was, and it was, it was like I was too deep to get out that I had to get my own wife to help me. Like that's where it got to with her. Um, also, I'd like to add that the day after the first conversation between my wife and Amber Lynn, like as far as like, you know, you need to leave Erica alone. The day after, you know, I blocked Amberlynn's number, blocked her on everything, deleted her number. I, my stupid ass even, like, deleted the, um, the 
phone number and everything like that. Oh, so you do know how to cut her off completely. That is what you should have done from the get-go when you said you tried to break up with her or you say, basically, I broke up with her. You see the difference, people? <laughs> like, that's why I think she kind of enjoyed having Amberlynn pining after her because she could have cut it off completely and she didn't. And there must have been a reason for that. And so she messaged me on a like a fake number the next day because she thought that my wife took my phone that's the wife that's the story my wife gave her but I was really sitting right there during the whole phone call apparently like she told Amber Lynn yeah I took her phone we were at the pool but we weren't we were in the bedroom trying to watch a movie so um she messaged me the next day and said hey it's Amber Lynn um you know your wife called me um I just I didn't know what else to say. She cornered me. Um, I told her everything and um, that she wanted me to unblock her number and call her and then reblock it basically. Like, you know, like pretty much, hey, block my number, but unblock it whenever we can talk. See, Amberlynn, here's where you messed up, girl. I mean, not just here, but also here's where you messed up. You were told this person has a wife, leave them alone. And you still chased after her, trying to play games, using some texting app, saying, unblock me, let's talk, and then block me back. Like, girl, let her go. Should have just let her go. Real love ain't this hard. When you are truly in love with someone and they're in love with you back, you don't have to chase after them. You definitely don't have to go around their wife's back and chase after them so that's what you know i didn't respond to that i i should have screenshot it and sent it to Brittany, but i just wanted it to be over with um i didn't think that things would get blown out of proportion like this like especially like with my wife like she is not the one to blame here because she didn't know about the like 95 percent of the situation like she knew like for you know the first little bit of it um because we were trolling her uh honest to god trolling her and i was like you know i wasn't trying to get money from her i never asked her for money so that she said about with money or any, if she said anything about money i never asked her for money um didn't talk to her about money didn't care to it was just it, it should have been something it it, it it was stupid it was a huge mistake it was dumb um, if I could take it back, I would. Um, it's, <laughs> people are definitely, like, blowing things way out of proportion. Actually, I think people are blowing things in the exact proportion that they should be blown. I mean, I haven't seen everything going around about this, but everything that I have seen seems like people are reacting to it in the way that you would expect. Um, I just don't want my wife getting drug into this. Uh, in a negative manner um, because she didn't know um, and there is more to Amberlynn than people know of course she does like use her PPD her sorry P BPD um, as a crutch um, she says you know every time she got upset with me or didn't or if I didn't respond in a timely manner if I didn't respond in a timely manner um, she would she would like basically say I'm triggering her BPD and things like that so I basically felt like majority of the time like not necessarily a gun to my head but and that tracks with what I was told and what I told you guys in my video yesterday it was Amberlynn's BPD and the behaviors and actions that went along with that is what is what prompted Erica to end the relationship uh, making me feel sorry for her and you know at one point I was like oh you know maybe she really isn't a bad person and people just make her out to be even though I should have damn well knew because of you know her past but I mean everyone makes dumbass decisions as you can see I made one this was fucking stupid honestly like I said earlier when I say Amberlynn is a pro with her words and how she breaks things down and how she gets in people's heads I dealt with criminals for close to 10 years I worked in a maximum custody prison and I dealt with inmates and I was not manipulated by not a damn one of them 
you know, as far as doing anything I shouldn't have done. She has a way with, with manipulating people, and I've never in my life been manipulated like this before, ever. Kind of ironic that you started this out as a troll and now you're the one crying about being manipulated, huh? Or are you just saying that because you want your wife to think that this was mostly Amberlynn just manipulating you? You didn't do anything wrong. And yeah, I have no excuse. Again, like I'm going to keep saying like this was a bad decision. I'm stupid. Make a meme out of me if you want to. I don't care. Just leave my wife out of it is all I'm asking. Okay, now we are going to hear from Erica's wife, Brittany. Let's see what she has to say. And this is me, Brittany, a.k.a. the crazy ex-wife. So, I had noticed that Erica basically had her phone glued to her forehead for months. And, you know, she does a lot of Olympic weightlifting. And I thought, you know, okay, well, she's editing. She spends a lot of time in the gym. Um, you know, never really thought much about it until, you know, she mentioned that we were watching a movie and I looked over and I seen like paragraphs upon paragraphs and she switched her phone off real fast. And then I was like, no, who are you talking to? Oh, that is something no wife wants to see. No partner wants to see your significant other getting paragraph long messages from someone else. Oof. And then, you know, it came out that she was still talking to Amber. I had thought that had ended months ago. And yeah, we together initiated a troll. And that's what we were doing just to see if we could get a, rea you know, some kind of reaction back, some kind of message. Um, and that's as far as it was supposed to go. Okay, here's my first side eye for you, Miss Brittany. You say that you were just hoping to get a message back. But the message that you and Erica replied to, as you said, was something about Amber Lynn liking masculine females. So if you just wanted a message back, that seems like a weird message to respond to. Seems like it's it was more than that. But let's continue. Um, I have since read through everything that was on Erica's phone and I am, you know, I'm a therapist. That's what I do. And when I tell you that this is one of the most dangerously manipulative people that I have ever met, this is, Amber Lynn is one of the most dangerously manipulative people I have ever met. Oh, girl, please don't do this. Please don't make excuses for your wife cheating on you. Do I believe Amber Lynn is manipulative? Absolutely. Dangerously manipulative? Eh, maybe. The most dangerously manipulative person you've ever met? That seems like a bit of an exaggeration. Um, it's true. What, every, what everybody says is true. And, you know, I fell victim to this. Uh, it was not supposed to be go as far as it did. Okay, let's not in the same breath say Amber Lynn is manipulative and you fell victim to this. You fell victim to your wife cheating on you. That is not Amber Lynn's fault. I don't care how manipulative you think she is. Your wife made the conscious decision to cheat on you. So the day I found out, I had called Amber and I'm like, so... How long has this been going on? I didn't tell her who I was. Obviously, I was calling from Erica's phone. She just spilled it. She was crying. I'm like, you know that with all of this stuff that I have, all these texts, all these pictures, you know, this would be a circus for you. Like, I could, like, really make things really difficult for you if I wanted to. Ooh, dang. She threatened her with outing everything. I mean, that sounds extreme, but, like, I get it. I'd be so pissed off too. Um, but I didn't. I didn't try to get any kind of retribution. I didn't. I was not vengeful. I did not say anything out of the way to her. I was just like, please, you know, look, this is it. Stop contacting my wife. You know, this is it. Just be done. Don't message her anymore. So then she started messaging her, and I didn't know that until recently. Amberlynn, that is not cool, girl. Your girlfriend's wife said stop messaging her and you did it anyways. I mean, you can't be mad that you got exposed. She tried to warn you. 
after Erica had already blocked her number, blocked her everything. Apparently, she was still trying to have a relationship with Erica after all of all of that. You know, block me and then unblock me. Like, who wants to stay with someone like that? Like, how desperate do you have to be to be trying to chase after a married woman? Me and Erica have been married for nine years. Nine years. And we're both normal people. We're not feeders. We're not crazy. We are just both normal people. I, I mean, well, your wife fell for Amberlynn Reed. I mean, kind of debatable. But also, that's kind of crazy of you to say, how desperate do you have to be? How desperate does your wife have to be to have a whole ass spouse at home and over here catching feelings for some other girl who's across the country? I know, I know, you're just gonna say, oh, she manipulated her into it. But come on, girl, you're not that dumb. So when I found out that that Amberlynn had been trying to contact Erica, I called her and it was on the 4th of July. And I'm like, what else do I not know? Like, you know, I, I specifically told you, do not contact. No means no. You know, in the first conversation, she's like, oh, as, you know, as much as, you know, it's, you know, crazy to say, I still want to remain friends with her. Like, are you serious? Like, are you serious? You want to remain friends with my wife who you just had an affair with and you're literally telling me this to my face? Like, what kind of person does that? You know? Right then and there, I would have hung up the phone, blocked her number, changed my number, and never spoke to her again. You know, I really appreciate the fact that she calls me the crazy ex-wife. That's great. She knew I was never really an ex. I still lived in the house. She knew about our relationship the whole time. As you'll see when you hear the phone call. I really just don't appreciate being victimized over and over and over and over. Really makes you step back and think about people's mental health and how destructive people are being. And I even coached her. I'm like, you know, Amber, you really need to stop talking to people on the internet that you don't know because you don't know these people. Uh, ma'am, Brittany, speaking of mental health, how about let's check on your wife's mental health? How about you tell your wife not to speak to people on the internet? How about you don't encourage people to speak to your wife on the internet, even if you think it's going to be a funny troll? And lo and behold, she was talking to AKA Tommy the entire time she was talking to Erica. 16 hours after I caught the whole thing, Tommy was already with a plane ticket ready to haul ass to Oklahoma. Okay, first of all, kind of curious how you know this. Like, do you have any proof of this? That is a big allegation. And second of all, that should make you happy. Like, why do you sound kind of pissed off about it? I would be like, yes, she's moving on from my wife. Go have fun. Go live your life. Just stay away from us. So she was having multiple different relationships with multiple different people. So was your wife. Uh, I kind of see is Tommy also a victim. Tommy probably has no idea that Erica was even a thing the entire time they were talking. Oh, and by the way, let me add, I did not harass Amberlynn. The first phone call, she called me. Well, she thought she was calling Erica, but she was really calling me. And then the only time I even had contact with her was on July 4th. And that is all she has heard from me. And that was from me telling her to leave my my wife alone. That's when the whole Tommy thing took place. And I was like, okay, good. This shit is over. And apparently not. So... It's just crazy to me. And Erica, we can see exactly what type of woman you are. The fact that you, in my opinion, led Amberlynn on for so long. And when it came time to finally cut everything off, you made your wife do it. I'm sorry, that's kind of pathetic. I guess since she can't get to Erica, she's just gonna, this is her way of trying to get retribution on that whole situation. I haven't watched any of the videos. This was from an anonymous source that was kind of the whistleblower on this whole situation because I had no idea that any of this was going on. So you were threatening to out everything about the Amberlynn and Erica relationship and now sounds like you're upset that Amberlynn said something about it first. Is that what I'm hearing? All I know is I got contacted today by one of the whistleblowers 
And then, lo and behold, there I am everywhere on everything. Just out here trying to live a normal life. Unlike some people who are sitting on their couch and crazy. I mean, that's about it. Okay, can we stop using the term whistleblower? Like, that sounds super dramatic for a very silly situation. Also, maybe ease up on the word crazy when you got some kind of crazy sitting next to you in the car. I'm just saying. So I would say to sum it all up, Amberlynn had an imaginary relationship with a person that she absolutely did not know. And now she's just using that to make money. And how she has subscribers sitting there. I don't, I don't understand people. Yeah, it doesn't seem like such an imaginary relationship from where I'm sitting from. But hey, what do I know? Maybe I'm getting manipulated by Amberlynn too. Maybe she cast her spell on me too. Okay, so that's the end of the voice notes. Apathetic Facts also displays a message that they received from Brittany saying that Amberlynn, quote, costed her $2,400, so hopefully she can make that back. So is this really about getting your side of the story out, or are you in it for some monetary reason? But anyway, let's get to the phone call. By the way, this is a phone call between Brittany and Amberlynn. Hello? So who reached out to who? Huh? So who reached out to who? What do you mean? Did you reach out to Erica or did she reach out to you? When? What do you mean when? Like for the very first time? The last time you spoke to her. Um, last time I, well the last time I messaged her was just letting her know that Do I hear Erica whispering in the background? Girl, would you freaking grow a pair? Are you serious right now? You were sitting there for this conversation. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of when I was a kid and some kid was mean to me and I told my mom and so she called that kid's mom and they're talking about what the kid did to me and and I'm like whispering to my mom, yeah, and then they did this and then they said this and my mom's just like yelling at (laughs) at the other parent. And I'm behind her going like, yeah, get him, mom. That's exactly what this reminds me of. Like you called and then pretty much just like the final goodbye type thing. Why, why would you reach out to her again? It was just like the final goodbye. There's no, I just felt like <laughs> there's no final goodbye. Like, what does that even mean? Um, I just, I felt like I needed to, but we don't talk anymore. Um, never, we haven't talked since the phone call, so. You know what? I'm going to give Amberlynn a little bit of credit here because honestly, if I were in her shoes and I had someone's wife questioning me like, why did you want to? I'm sorry. (laughs) I won't do the Southern accent. Asking me like, why did you uh, message my spouse? I would probably just hang up on them. I would just avoid it at all costs. This feels so awkward, even just listening to it. So even after I told you... Not to contact her again. You still did. Why? Because it was like I wanted closure, and then not only that, but like she contacted me. I would say, I don't know, less than a week ago, like upset about some TikTok I posted, and I never responded. Okay, that sounds fair. So Amber Lynn contacted Erica because Erica contacted her first about a TikTok she was upset about. Let's see if Brittany will hold Erica accountable. I'm guessing she won't. So you mean to tell me you're not posting anything about her online? No one knows her name, nothing about her. Um, nope, that is something that I told her I would never do. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? <laughs> oh my God. Erica just said, I lived a double life. Okay, Erica, but no one knows your name. So who cares? Just, I, I just, I don't understand. Like, like no means no. Huh? No means no. Like, no means no. Yeah, that's correct. That is why I do not speak to her any longer. I just don't understand. Like, you have an entire relationship with somebody you don't know that you know is married like what do you think is gonna come out of that like that's the part i don't understand to keep reaching out like i don't get it 
Hold up there, Brittany. Why are you saying now in this phone call that she had a whole relationship? But when you relate the story to apathetic facts, you said it was an imaginary relationship. So which is it, girl? I didn't keep reaching out. Um, I reached out the one time as a way of like a weird closure thing because she did become like a really good friend of mine as well on on top of everything else. I was losing that and that kind of like was rough. So that, what did you say to her for your your closure that you needed? I'm really curious. Um... Well, I haven't gotten, like, a full closure thing. God, instead of saying she hasn't gotten a full closure thing, I so wish she would have said, um, I haven't gotten a whole closure situation type deal. That would have been epic. I kind of just realized it's not going to happen. Um, but... Like, how long did it take you to realize that it's not going to happen? It took me a long time. Actually... I'm being honest. Yeah. The part that's got me up is that A, you knew about me. B, you were looking me up on Instagram. That shit is fucking creepy. I mean, honestly, if I were Amberlynn, Berlin, I'd probably look you up too. I'm just saying. But I'm a nosy bitch, so. Right. I thought that you guys were married and then I found out you guys were married for financial reasons. So, is that what she said? Yeah. That is what she originally said, yes. And that you guys weren't in love anymore, and you guys... Uh oh, uh, Brittany, you might have wanted to edit that part out. Uh, did y'all just hear Erica? She said after Amberlynn said she told me that you guys were together for financial reasons only. Erica whispers, "You told me to tell her that." Oopsies. It's like. I don't really know. <laughs> so I kind of skimmed through the text. Yeah, I understand that. I would have done the same thing. Like, do you know how demented it is to tell somebody that's married not to have sex with their spouse? Like, do you know how crazy that sounds? And do you know how crazy it sounds that your whole ass wife was talking to this girl while being told not to have sex with you? Do you know how crazy that sounds? Like I said, I thought you guys were just married for financial reasons. You really need help. <laughs> like, you really need help. Probably. So, I expect not to see any more videos. Correct. No, no more nothing not a word not a peep or what or what Brittany what are you gonna do like are you kidding me right now who does she think she is like I totally disagree with what Amber Lynn, with what Amber Lynn did but come on some woman being like I expect not sorry I expect not to see any more videos about this on YouTube I'd be like I expect your wife not to continue messaging me how about that and I absolutely respect that I thought you respected um, that the other day when I told you, do not call, do not reach out, none of that. I, I did, I did that one time, and I want you to know, like, I had, like, like there was an open YouTube. line of communication that I did not me on YouTube because I was respecting you, and I was respecting Saying myself and the people in my life. Double life. So... Oh, not Erica being like, oh my God, she's lying about me. Girl, if I was Brittany, I'd be like, how long have you been lying about me? This whole thing is just everyone's in the wrong. Just everyone. That's why I literally did not reply to her message. Like, I don't know what she's telling you versus me. Erica is obviously a known cheater and liar. I finally have my rose-tinted glasses completely off.
Are you about to dispute that, Brittany? Because I would love to hear what you have to say about that. If you're going to say that's not true. Did she tell you about that? Yeah. Yes, she did. All right. But yet I was supposed to be different. You know how you know how you know how it goes. So I mean, I have answered your questions to the best of my ability. I would really like. I feel like she played me. What? Yeah, she played you hard like a fiddle. Yeah. I don't think Emerlyn's the only one she played, Miss Brittany, ma'am. And it's crazy to me. That's why I said like, he sacrificed. You sacrifice the possible future with you. Why? Like, what's the point? Like, you obviously seem like you have your head on your shoulders. She told me like, shit about you. Like, you know, I've seen the shit you so said about me too, right? You know what, Brittany? <laughs> if you can't understand what your wife is doing to you in this moment, I feel real sorry for you, girl. Real sorry. What do you mean? Like, you know, I know. Like what? Just know that I know everything you said. No, you don't. No, you don't. You're just saying that because that's what Erica just told you to say. So, you know, like the jealousy side of me, obviously, when I'm in a relationship, thinking that she's going to come live with me and that she's in love with me. Yeah, of course. I probably did say some things because I was in a delusional state. 100,000% I could have said that. Like, she had me in a full trance and... I'm absolutely over it. Hmm, that's interesting. Amberlynn says that Erica had her in a trance. I wonder if that's where Erica came up with the whole she had me under her spell thing. Was she just repeating what Amberlynn said about her to try and look like the victim? So, if you knew that she was a cheater, why still talk to her? Girl, we could ask you the same question. Because she said, I'm different. You're so different, Amberlynn. You're so different, baby. I love you. And I love the way you make me feel. You actually make me happy. And you're f***ing sexy. That's what I believe. Girl, if my spouse had been telling Amber Lynn Reed that she's effing sexy, there's no way I'd be posting this on the internet. I would be crawling into a hole right now. But we thank you for posting it, Brittany. We really do. Take a step back and look at it from a different angle. Oh, I'm 100% like, like aware I'm a you. victim. I'm 100% aware I'm a victim. <laughs> like, I know that. Yeah. Had you reached out mm -hmm. to me, had you reached out to me and be like, hey, your wife is hitting me up. You know, I probably could have saved you quite a bit of time there. <laughs> yeah, you probably could have. Uh, that is not Amber Lynn's responsibility. Amber Lynn did not take a vow to be faithful to you and honest with you. That is what your wife did. You should have the problem with her. I just, you know, I thought it was for financial stuff, and we were just friends for the longest. I don't know if, like, she was just faking it the whole time because she needed someone i don't really know i don't understand <laughs> this is gonna be another youtube video for her thank you i don't either uh because i'm pretty successful i'm pretty smart i'm not bad looking oh like i mean that's one that's one thing that um erica definitely did say about you you're very smart all that good stuff so i believe it <laughs> Okay. So, it makes you wonder why she go looking somewhere else, don't it? I mean, yeah, it just, I mean, honestly, some people just can't stay with one person. I don't know why. Like, I am beyond disgustingly loyal. Like, I stopped talking to several of my friends for her because she didn't even want me talking to them. But yet, she was, she had a whole wife. Like, that she had an actual marriage with. Like, that's. I just don't understand. Like, you talk about double lives and but you, you knew about it the whole time. Wouldn't that be you living a double life as well? Well, I didn't find out um, until a long time after her and I were talking that you would act, that you would actually consider it cheating because for a long time she told me that you had your whole you had a whole different relationship you were in and that you were living there. Like Erica said a lot of lies. <laughs> You can go and delete the messages because I'm not a screenshot taker, but it's all there. I haven't deleted a single thing on my end. And then it was a couple, it was literally just a couple months ago where we, we had this whole 
spike car where I was like, I'm gonna get to ask you whatever the question because I felt in like my gut something was wrong. And something was off, something just seemed weird, like she was lying to me. So I said, we're gonna have a discussion where you're gonna answer every single question that I have and you're gonna answer it honestly. Oh man, I would love to hear how that ended, but that is where the phone call cut off. So what do you guys think? Whose side are you on? Me personally, I think everybody's in the wrong. Everybody got super messy when it was not necessary. And at the end of the day, Erica seems super shady. She's the one who took vows with Brittany. She's the one who was the cheater. And she's the one who, when retelling the story, is wording things in a certain way to make her seem like a victim in all of this, which tells me she's leaving a lot out. But I would love to hear all of your thoughts and opinions, so please leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up.